Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to Using a Computer with Ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. In this video, we will cover the basic components of a keyboard. A keyboard has a ton of functions and actually can be used to drive the computer itself without the use of a mouse. Nonetheless, the object of this video is only to familiarize yourself with the keyboard and its most basic functions. Hopefully, by the end of this video, a keyboard won't appear to you like the controls of an airplane. At first sight, you will notice the letters of your keyboard aren't in alphabetical order. The reason for this is to extend the most commonly used letters out so you can use all your fingers while you type. The purpose is not so you can find each letter as you type, but rather so you can type quickly without looking at the keyboard. Wait till the end of this video for our recommendation to improve your typing skills. Above the letters, you'll find the numbers with symbols that you can type alternatively. If you want to type the symbol that appears alongside whichever number or an uppercase letter, use the shift key. To use the shift key correctly, you have to press the shift key without letting go, then press the letter or symbol that you want. Remember that shift can mean change. This will help you remember to use it for uppercase letters and to access the symbols. The caps lock key makes all letters appear in capital letters without having to hold the shift key, but only the letters. If you want a symbol, you will need to hold the shift key. Be careful, on an email or an online chat, all capitals are interpreted as screaming. Another frequently used key is the tab key, which has two common uses. First of all, if you are typing, the tab key will move your cursor to the next tab line, which is about half inch. This function helps you with formatting your document. Or, if you are filling out an online form, the tab key moves your cursor to the next field to be filled in. To erase a mistake, use the backspace key. Backspace erases from right to left. You can erase just one character or letter at a time or more if you press and hold. The Enter key has two common uses. First, it's the key of Ready or Go when you want your computer to enter certain information. For example, when you are entering your email sign-on credentials, you can click on the sign-on button or hit Enter when you are ready. When you are typing, Enter moves your typing position down one line. Hit Enter multiple times for multiple lines to help with formatting. The arrow keys can be useful while typing as well. Move the flashing line in any direction with the corresponding arrow. 
However, sometimes it's faster with the mouse. Another use for the arrows is to scroll instead of using the mouse. This guide is only to help those without experience become oriented with a keyboard. With the keys we covered today, you can start gaining experience with your computer. Later, you can learn about the rest of the keys. To learn about how to type more quickly, we recommend typingclub.com. This program teaches you how to type without looking at your fingers in a slow, steady way so you don't become frustrated. 